Today I've got two different spicy meal prep bowls for you. A spicy burrito bowl and a chipotle chickpea stew. If you've been around for a while, you know I love adding spicy ingredients to any of my recipes, but of course, don't worry, if you don't like it spicy, you can simply omit the chili, the recipes will still work and will still be delicious. Now, let's start with a spicy burrito bowl. We are going to start by finely slicing a head of romaine lettuce and then rinse and spin dry it. The drier your leaves, the longer they last crispy in the fridge. Then get four tomatoes and cut off the green part and then cut the tomatoes into dice. Lastly, get a small red onion or half a large red onion and chop finely and a jalapeno pepper to seed and chop finely as well. Now get a pan and preheat the pan over medium heat. And once it's nice and hot, add a drizzle of avocado oil and a pound of ground meat. This can be any meat you like best, a beef, lamb, chicken, turkey, pork, choose your favorite. Break it apart with a wooden spatula and then add seasoning. These are the spices typically used in many spice mixes called taco seasoning. Sea salt and pepper to taste, a teaspoon of chili powder, half a teaspoon paprika, half a teaspoon cumin, and a quarter teaspoon each of garlic and onion powder. Add that to the meat and keep breaking it apart and moving around a lot so no steam gets trapped at the bottom or else the meat will start boiling in its own juices instead of nicely browning. Once the meat is nice and browned and cooked through, remove it from the heat and let it cool. The stir frying takes about 10 minutes, the cooling down about 15 minutes. You really wanna make sure that the meat isn't too hot because then if you add it to your burrito bowl and it's too hot, the lettuce will wilt. We wanna avoid that. So really like let it cool down to at least room temperature. In the meantime, we will start preparing the dressing. For this, you will need a quarter cup avocado oil to which you add sea salt and pepper to taste and the juice of two limes. Then whisk the dressing until it becomes pale and creamy. Now let's prepare the burrito bowl. Add a quarter of the sliced lettuce to the bowl, half a cup of cooked black beans, they can be home cooked or canned, one diced tomato, a third of a cup cooked corn, again home cooked or canned, a quarter of the cooled ground meat, a little chopped red onion and a little chopped jalapeno and then top it with a few leaves of fresh cilantro and your bowl is ready to be stored for the week. Repeat the process three more times and you made yourself four lunches and you won't have to make any lunches throughout the week. Right before serving, drizzle a quarter of the dressing over your burrito bowl. Don't dress the bowl before storing because your lettuce will wilt. It's best poured over right before eating. Now, I know I'm gonna get this question, why four bowls and not five when there are five work days in the week? This is because plant protein and animal protein both only last in the fridge safely for up to four days. Now, this does not mean that on day five it becomes poisonous and you will get salmonella and all kinds of food poisoning but it simply means that the risk goes up. So I will always suggest to make four. You can, of course, make five if you love taking risk, or you can maybe make something different that you can freeze. Um, I prefer to make four and then three, and then I cover my whole week. So on the fourth day, I just prepare a different recipe. Now, the burrito rolls can be frozen because of the raw vegetables, but the chipotle chickpea stew can be frozen. So you can make both recipes on one day and then freeze the chipotle chickpea stew so you can eat it on day five, six, seven, and then even eight. <laughs> To make those chipotle chickpea bowls, we are going to start by making rice. I always make my rice in the Instant Pot and I have a full tutorial on how to make all types of different kinds of rice in the Instant Pot and I'm going to link it. But in short here again, add one cup of rice, one cup of water, a little sea salt and set the pot to three minutes on high pressure and let pressure release naturally. I will do that on a separate counter so I can show you the chickpea stew cooking process. We need a small onion and two cloves of garlic, finely chopped. Then preheat a large pot over medium heat and once hot, add a drizzle of avocado oil. Add the chopped onion, garlic and two to three chipotle chilies, depending on how spicy you like your food. Stir fry until the onions become translucent, about two minutes. 
and break the chilies apart a little as well while you stir fry. Then add two cups of cooked chickpeas, as well as a 14 ounce can of crushed tomatoes or tomato polpa. Season everything with sea salt and pepper to taste. Give it a good stir and then cover and let simmer for 15 minutes. After the 15 minutes, add five ounces of baby spinach and stir until the spinach wilts. And then it's already time to assemble the meal prep bowls. Add a quarter of the rice to a bowl as well as a quarter of the chickpea stew. Repeat the process three more times and you made yourself four lunches for the week. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're gonna give one of these spicy meal prep bowls a try or maybe even both. If you do, please don't forget to snap a picture and show me I love seeing when you make any of my recipes and I'll see you with my next video. Bye.